Welcome to the next session of ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a plain cylindrical wall for transient thermal analysis. Let's start with transient thermal module. We'll go to engineering data. Now here I'll leave the material as structural steel. I'll not change the material. You can change it if required. I'll go to geometry, right click, new design model geometry, units, millimeter, xy, look at, I'll go to sketching and I'll choose a circle, I'll give it some dimensions, say the diameter is 60, I'll extrude it for 25 mm generate so this is the geometry next i'll go to model and double click on it i'll go to mesh i'll choose the sizing as fine update You can see here the meshing has been done. I'll go to analysis settings and insert convection on these two surfaces. Since it is structural steel, the value will be 35 watt per mm square degree Celsius. Let me give the initial temperature as minus 50 degree Celsius and you can see here the ambient temperature is 22 which means currently the body is very cold and we are trying to bring it to a normal temperature. Next we will go to analysis settings and number of steps say I give as 10. I will go to solution and let me insert temperature as the value that I want to find out. You can see here, this is the temperature change over the entire body. Now I will insert another parameter here, that is radiation on this surface. Say the emissivity value is 0 0.2 and the ambient temperature was 22. So that's another boundary condition I added. Now let's go to solution, solve it again and check the Temperature profile over the body. Now you can check the temperature here. This is the temperature profile. I will uncheck the minimum value and this is how the maximum value would look like. You can see here it is a graph of temperature versus time. How the temperature is going to change with respect to time. Because our initial value was low, so it is going from minimum value to a higher value. Now we will add few more results like total heat flux and the directional heat flux. The direction is Z, so let's change it to Z and solve once again. This solution will be obtained very fast. So this is how the total heat flux would look like over the body and this is the directional heat flux along the z-axis. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze a plain cylindrical wall for transient thermal analysis. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.